So when you first get a brief, it's really important that you map out your action plan, which is just about deciding what you're going to do and when you're going to do it. First thing for me personally that I always do is I'm always trying to understand what the full brief is and that's just understanding things in general. But there's two things that are important that I, that I know. It's the deadline for the project and it's how many deliverables that are needed for the project. Think about all the steps that you need to do to get this done. And an easy way to consider it is like a video game. You have certain tasks in level one and you have to finish those tasks in level one to be able to get to level two and level three and so on. What are the steps to complete each deliverable? And here you've got to be very meticulous and very um, like logical in each step. And that's, we're talking about from creation, we're talking about review and feedback. Think about all the levels that you need to get from the start to the finish. So level one might be concepting a lot of ideas, um, coming up as many as you can. Level two might be then culling those down and choosing your top three or top five. Level three might be then deciding how to flesh them out, um, giving them a bit more detail. Uh, level four might be then designing and editing and say we'll call level five your final submission. So wherever you need to get that to, to submit it, that would be the finish line, level five. In life, things happen. Some things that you cannot control in any way and that are things that are out of your control. Um, for example, say one day your internet stops working or another day that you're ill or you know, you're waiting on um, some deliverables or some work from another team member or another place of the business. Like Those things happen and if you don't factor in time for people to be humans essentially or for like variable circumstances then you can make your timeline very tight. So when you're thinking about your project plan, think about all your levels and the time it takes to do each one. So you can map that out on paper at first. You might want to use a Google Docs uh, spreadsheet. You might want to put those into your calendar. Whatever works best for you to visualize it is what I recommend. Then I would always start with the deadline. So if level five is the deadline, you put that in on the date and then you think about levels say one to four the time it takes to do each and then you map that out all in the middle and when you're done you will have your project plan make sure that your project plan is realistic and it feels like something you can actually achieve because then you're more likely to actually commit to it and stick to it